Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to have like a little review about the Ready Player 2 event and my opinions and thoughts just going through it and doing the missions and things like that. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, I do want to say that the developers did an amazing job. You know, they all worked really hard to create this event. I think they all did great. They all put like equal amount of effort in there, I would say. And you know, they made it enjoyable to do. That's pretty much it for the developers. I think they did a great job, and they also earned a gold version of the Meta Star, which is pretty cool for them. So, yeah, the developers definitely deserve the praise. You know, they did amazing for this event. So, I'll go over the games one by one, and I'm going to give my thoughts on them. So, the first one was Piggy. I think the Piggy one was pretty good. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I like that you had to go knock on the door, and there was, like, a little secret area over there. So, that was pretty good. I think Piggy was nice. Beast Swarm was pretty good. Like, finding the promo codes is fun. Doing that in real time was really fun. And also doing the things in the fields was really great, so that was fun as well. So, and you got that book over there. So, next up was the Bombastic Bling. Um, that one was alright. It wasn't my favorite because you had to sit there for a long while until you were able to go to do the obby, and the obby was kind of, it was kind of difficult. And also, like, very early on, I'm, I did the, these missions very early on when the bugs were still very present. So, maybe some of you guys didn't have these bugs, but I did. When I did it, there wasn't that giant portal at the end of the uh, army, and you had to guess where to jump, so, you know, sometimes you jumped off and it didn't give you it, sometimes you jumped off and it gave you it, so it was very unclear, so it was good they fixed that, but yeah, at the beginning it was kind of unclear about that one. Next up was the Bad Business. This one was pretty good. It's not really easy if you aren't good at, like, first-person shooter games. That might be pretty difficult. Like, at the beginning it was pretty difficult. I had to do it twice, but... Yeah, I feel like mobile might have trouble with that one, or Xbox, or people that just, in general, not good at shooting games, so that one might be difficult. And these are these are good challenges. I think they were really creative, especially with the codes, you had to figure stuff out, look for references. I think they did a good job, and cre they were really creative with that as well. So, yeah, next up we had the shark bite thing. That was pretty good. I also liked that you had to talk to the painting, give it a quote, and then you could do things in there. The boss battle was pretty difficult. I liked the challenge. Um, it could have been too difficult, I would say. Some people might have thought it was too difficult. I thought it was okay, and after, like, a few tries, it would be fine. So, yeah, the last two items, um, like, the event was, like, a 9, a 10 out of 10. I thought it was amazing. Up until, like, Dungeon Quest happened, then it kind of <laughs> went lower. But, yeah, so we have a Vehicle Simulator, which was the top hat over here. Oh, no, no, it was the Moonbox, yeah. So Vehicle Simulator was pretty good, you had to find like 8 ships around the map, and I thought that was a fun objective, I thought they did a good job with that one. And also using the vending machine to go into that secret under layer, the basement of the lab, but I thought that was a good idea, so Vehicle Simulator did a good job. Um, Dungeon Quest, um, it was kind of difficult for a lot of people to do it, also especially since it was the last one that was found and you needed it for the Metastar, Meta Star. you needed the Dungeon Quest badge of the Metastar. And it was just kind of hard because, like, originally people saw the gems in the lobby, you know, they were there, they just didn't know what to do with them. But, actually, you just had to put them in the right order, but people didn't know it because they didn't give any cues or anything, there was no sound that played, there was no collecting animation that played, you just had to touch them, and people didn't know that that was what was supposed to happen. So I think they could have put a bit more effort there to make sure people, to make sure everybody knew that's what you had to do, because we just had to guess. And also the keypad at the beginning was kind of broken as well since you had to use the lamps, but the lamp thing wasn't there and you just could have you could have just guessed it in like five minutes. So yeah. Also the boss was extremely difficult. I know a lot of people that did it like ten times and it just wasn't ready. You can't do it. It was just so hard to do. So I think the challenge was good, but I feel like it was just over challenged. Like it was way too difficult to do. So they could have tested that one a bit more, I think, to make it a bit easier for the players. But they did nerf it a few hours later, so yeah, all these eventually did get nerfed, you know, um, for people to do them. Because at the beginning, they're all very challenging. So yeah, they also have some merch over here. You see this a Vaporwave person. These are all available for purchase, and also like the clothing is going to be available soon. And we have some items. There's also some wings that are not here in this. But overall, I think this was a pretty good event. Um, I wish they gave more clues. I think they gave, like, two clues, Piggy and Bee Swarm, and then they kind of stopped. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that. Also, the lobby at the end, it was kind of not awarding, awarding the awards for some people, so that was also an issue. But I think this was, honestly, an amazing event. I think I've had a better time with this one than the first one. I know a lot of people like the first one better because 
I guess there were less game-breaking bugs, but I think I enjoyed this one more better since there was more things to do, a lot of more challenges, and it was really fun with friends. So the first time around, I did it alone, and it was kind of hard for me to have enjoyment in that, but I did a lot of time with the second time around with friends, and I thought it was much better. So yeah, overall, this event was um, like probably 8, 9 out of 10, maybe even a 10 out of 10. I just honestly love this event. I think they did a great job. Also, the items look amazing. Look, the helmet looks great, crown. All of these are just like remodels of like older hats, and they all did a great job, especially the people that you know made the art for the game as well. So, yeah, I think this is a great event. That's pretty much it for my opinion and this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.